everyone. Today we're going to be painting these lemons. If you go into the event discussion, you can get the outline to trace. I've also got a supply list. What do we need to watercolor? Paint. Mm -hmm. Paper. Paper. And a brush. And brushes. I used a round size six as well as a detail brush. If you end up painting, please post it in the comments. I love to see your work. So let's get started. So with most of our watercolor paintings, we bounce around from section to section, and this one is no different. So the first thing we're going to be doing is putting down our first layer of color on the lemons and the leaves. And then I'm going to show you how to do some negative painting here for the details, and then we'll finish off the details on the lemon. So first thing we're going to do is paint our lemons. We do want to have a highlighted portion here. So I'm going to be making it darker along the edges and we're going to be using wet on wet painting like we've done before um, and I start by putting down plain water and then adding the yellow paint after that. So all this can get painted with water. And I find that when I do this, I have a little bit better control over where the paint goes and how dark certain sections are, and you don't get those hard edges. All right. So I've got some yellow, and I'm just going to add it along this side. And because it's wet, it blends pretty easily. I'm leaving the space here without paint. I'm going over here and doing the same. Now some of this might bleed over here, but that's okay because we're going to make it darker later. I'll rinse off my brush. And you can see that there are still some highlights there. If you accidentally painted too much, you can just grab a tissue or paper towel and pick that up. As long as the paint is still wet, it should be pretty easy to remove. So the leaves up here are going to get a shade of light green. So what you see for the veins here is what we're painting first. I use watered down sap green. It's a yellow green that's pretty common for foliage painting. If you don't have this shade, just mix some yellow and green together. And keep in mind that the paint will dry a little bit lighter than it looks when it's wet, so if it looks too dark, you'll probably be okay. Same thing over here. And I'm going to paint the rest of this as well. And this down here. That will be darker later. Okay, so for now I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to work. I'm going to bring this over and show you how to do the leaves. Okay, so I've sketched out a few leaves in advance. I've also put down a layer of color here so that it looks like what we were working on. The next step is to draw in some veins. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. It's just to give you an idea of where to paint. 
So we're going to be using our detail brush for this just because we're going to have to avoid some small spaces. So I'm going to use a darker concentration of the sap green. I'm going to start with this section here and then I'm going to alternate back and forth. So you want to stay inside this pencil line that you've drawn for the vein, but you also want to avoid this center vein. So there's the first section. You can go down the row if you want. It's a little bit easier to go back to sections when the paint is dry and I'm not as worried about the paint all running together. So now I've got this section here. Jump back on this side. I'm still leaving that space down the middle. And the last section over here. So you might be able to kind of see where we're going with this. Now I'm going to jump over here. So now I'm going to have to avoid this line here as well as this section. So this is where it starts to get a little bit more difficult, especially if your paint is still wet. So when you get down here, you want to make sure to leave a little bit of space so that you still see a line. Over here, I've got three sections to avoid. So this is why I switched to this smaller brush, because the other brush would hold too much water for this type of detail. Okay, so just keep doing the same thing. Almost done. And last part is tiny. Okay, so you've got your lighter veins showing from underneath. Um, it is a little bit, the lines are a little bit harsh. So I painted another one here just to show you the next step. This one is dry. So once these are dry, you can take either plain water or just a very light, I've got really light green, and you're going to run it over the whole leaf. And that's just to kind of tone down the lines, especially if you ended up with darker paint like this, the veins can look kind of harsh if they're really light. So that just blends everything together a little bit more. So that's how we do our leaves and we're going to go back to our original painting now to add some darker colors. So now we're going to work on making these lemons a little bit darker. I've got some paint on my brush. I'm using this shade here, which is a yellow orange shade. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. I'm not doing wet on wet with this one because I do want it to be a little bit more obvious than that last color. 
So I'm putting down the darker paint, rinsing off my brush, and then coming back with just water. Alright, so you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like this one. Maybe a little bit darker here on the bottom. And around the side. It's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to push some of this over to that side. Start working on this second one. And remember that we do want to have highlights, so I'm not going to add any paint there. Just using my dry brush to pick some of this up. Okay. Now this paint should still be wet. So I'm going to come in with this yellow ochre, which is a yellow brown mixture. a little bit here on this side. You can see it spreading out. Rinsing my brush off and just blending that a little bit. And when this dries off we'll come do the same thing over here. And for now we're going to go back to the leaves and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did here. All right. So I'm only going to do that with two of the leaves because I want the others to look a little bit different. So at this point I'm going to work on these two and speed the video a little bit and then I'll come back to work on the lemons again. While we're waiting on these leaves to dry, I'm going to work on this lemon over here to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to be using yellow ochre, which is a yellow-brown shade. I'm going to run it along the edge. Put a little bit on the bottom, rinse my brush off, and come back with plain water. I'm just blending it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this wet just to make sure that there's not a line of color over here where the water stopped. So the whole thing is wet now. And I'm going to go ahead and darken this just a little bit more. So 
I put some paint down and now I'm just getting the rest of this wet with plain water. And it looks a little light here, so I'm going to add some lemon yellow. Now this is wet, so I'm going to try not to have the paint, the water here touching this edge. So almost to there, to this lemon. Did start bleeding a little bit here at the top, so I'm trying to pick that up. And we'll see how that dries. So now I'm going to work on the stem here and these leaves. I'm not going to do the same type of painting here because I want them to look a little bit different. So for this one, I'm just going to add some dark lines. And then for this one, I'm just going to kind of darken each side. So I've got my sap green. And I'm going to run it along the bottom here. You can use your detail brush for this too. And I'm just going to draw some veins in. like that. And then this one over here, I'm just going to darken each side. And later on, I might come back and add some detail to that. For now, I'm going to grab my detail brush, and it's dry, and just pull some of the color out. And you do have to keep drying it off in between doing that. All right. Now we're going to darken this here and go back to my larger brush. I'm just going to run some step green all along the edge. And here too. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm going to add some detail to the lemons. So I'm going to grab my yellow ochre with the detail brush and we're going to add some spots here. My paint is still a little bit wet, so it's spreading out. And since the brush is so small, it's okay. And then I'm going to add some paint here, just along the bottom edge, and 
along the top as well. And same thing over here. Spots. blend this a little bit because it was a bit dark still a bit wet so the paint got a bit blurred so I'm just using water to spread it out and going back over these with water and I'm going to add some on this side as well paint, I rinse my brush off, and blend some of that. Okay. And this is a bit dark, so I blend that too. Go back up to our leaves and we're going to add some green on top of that. Into this one. Go to this leaf, just add a bit more green. So I'm adding some darker sections, but I'm not going to be quite as detailed as I did here. This is still wet, so I don't want to touch that paint with a wet brush. Right. And now I'm going to darken the stem here. Make it a little bit darker there. Okay, so that's it. Now I see that I've got some spots here. I have a bad habit of getting paint on my hand and rubbing it on the paper. So I'm going to get that wet with my brush, clean water, and see if I can pull some of that up.
if you have a scrubber brush at home or an old brush that you use with maybe acrylics, those work well for this. It's easier to do when your paint is wet, so if you happen to notice that you've done that, if you do it right away, it's better. So that should dry mostly clear. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll be checking out your questions to see if I can help you. And here's a preview of what we're doing next week my favorite subject, a succulent. So happy painting and please post a picture if you end up completing this tutorial.